A Northeast Florida woman remembering her older brother who lost his life on September 11, 2001. Thomas Gambino Jr. He was a New York City firefighter for nearly 30 years before being killed at the World Trade Center during the attacks. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Ferrar shows us the way his sister is choosing to keep her brother's spirit alive. Paying tribute to those lost on this day 20 years ago does not get easier. The pain doesn't go away. It's the same as day one. Your focus, though, is, is redirected. Valerie and Lori Gambino lost their brother, Thomas Gambino Jr., on September 11th, 2001. Thomas was one of the first firefighters to respond to the World Trade Center, one of 343 firefighters killed that day. Last um, contact, he was on the 78th floor. Although Nassau County Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief Jeff Dodd did not know Thomas, they still share a common bond. There is a brotherhood and a sisterhood that comes with the fire department no matter what county you're in or what state you're in. And so it definitely, um, you know, our hearts go out to those families still today. Thomas's body was never found, but his helmet was recovered in all of the rubble. It's now in his family's possession. Valerie making a promise to honor her big brother. When he died, I made a promise to do something to give back in the same manner. It took 10 years, but I found cycling and I wound up with a veteran group who used cycling as a means of rehab. And that's where my journey began in recovery. That program called Project Hero Hub Jacksonville a group Valerie now represents. Today, more than a dozen bicyclists with that group and North Florida Bicycle Club riding 33 miles in the Project Hero 9-11 Memorial Ride. By helping others, it kind of helps that pain, you know, and brings, you know, keeps my brother's spirit alive. Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.